What's up, champions? Fam, it's Zeke Forno, back with a brand new WWE Champions video. I'm not going to hold y'all for long, but I had to do this video because a broski by the name of Wesley Franklin reached out to me and politely asked if I could possibly do a video covering the manager's pass as well as the gold league loot. And this video's for you, my boy. Hopefully this helps not only you, but many other members of the beloved hashtag champions fam with their future ventures, because I know a lot of people are still testing the waters with this, but I'm just going to break things down the best I can. And hopefully y'all can walk away with the insight that you need to make a proper decision, whether to subscribe whether to skip on this or to cancel as soon as your current subscription is complete so let's go ahead and dive right on in as you can see there's two ways to go about this you can subscribe monthly for the cost of $25 disposable income or you could subscribe for six months total by spending $120 disposable income. So that's something to definitely keep in mind here. When you sign up for the first time, you're going to get 10K Gold League loot coins to do pulls. However, Gold League loot coins are not Silver League loot coins, where Silver 1K, 1,000 coins, is going to get you one pull. 10K is really just five, uh, five pulls on the Gold League loot because each loot pull for the gold league is going to cost you 2k in coins so you're getting a free five pull after spending your money if that even makes any sense no it doesn't but hey it's a bonus right it's a bonus you're going to gain access to auto clear tickets to help you out with getting resources if you don't feel like turn one turn a turn two or turn three farming for resources normally with your champions save yourself on some health packs, and some faction tokens, depending on what faction you are in. You're also going to get a bonus to the boost of health that you get back when using your health packs. You're also going to get bonus loot boxes, so when you clear a match and win, you're going to have a better chance of maxing out the loot and walking away with more resources that you need, possibly, possibly, because RNG is a thing within this game. Now, outside of that, the manager pass, its key thing is truly the gold league loot which is filled with top-notch champions there's no way around that you have a trophy champion and attitude era showboat mr perfect n w o you got the undisputed future seth rollins you got doink the clown you got jimmy Uso. you got a lot of top-notch guys and gals on this uh on this banner so this is going to help out a lot of players especially if you are new or intermediate and you got a very low count roster you don't got that many superstars on your roster at the moment so you might keyword might have a better chance of pulling something solid on the other hand this is for players that have been playing for a while now the veteran players the journeyman players you know this is a solid opportunity to possibly walk away with some solid fuse ups for some of your projects so you can utilize those fuses later down the line on a upcoming kickoff top event or you might be going for a lot of dupe dupes of a certain champion so you can spare your training posters. Because I always say this, R-E-S-P-E-C-T, your T-P-C-T, training posters, coins, and tokens. So there's a couple ways to look at this banner. You're going in because you need new superstars because you're just getting into the game and you want to get ahead sooner rather than later. You don't want to be held back. You don't want to hinder your faction fam. I get it. Or you're trying to capitalize on future solo contests so that way you can help your faction fam in other ways when it comes to content such as your blitzes as well as your showdowns and of course your faction feuds. So it's all understandable why people would be enticed to go in for this manager's pass because they're trying to strike gold, literally. However, a lot of things can have a pro they can also have a con. So here's the con here. As you can see with this uh, with this loot, the rarity range goes from two star to four star gold. More than likely, you're going to get scoped in the way of pulling a lot of two star bronzes. Now, granted, there are some champions on here that once you get enough shards of them, you can fuse them up to a higher rarity. But how many pulls is that going to take when one single pull one roll is going to cost you 2k compared to you getting two pulls from the silver league loot for having 2k coins 
That's something to really consider. You would really have to stack mad, mad coins to have a decent, reasonable chance to get something good. Now, from what I've heard and from what I understand, there's only been a few people that have actually hit real big when it comes to this banner. I mean, I believe there's a member of Uselessness who literally, I think they walked away with a four-star Jimmy. I don't know if he was four-star gold or four-star silver, but I I know that someone from Uselessness at least scored a four-star Jimmy. So there is that chance. And y'all know how I am about this. You know, I've done it myself. A dollar in a dream pool, and I walked away with a three-star bronze Ronda Rousey, okay? There's people who have pulled on $20 in a dream, and they've walked away with a four-star silver Kyrie Zane pirate princess. It can be done. It, it's possible. But realistically, looking at how the scope gods treat everyone in this community, you're going to be getting more dupity dupes than brand new champions, and you're going to get more dupity dupes than much needed fuses. So, that's just what I'm saying here. It depends on where you are personally. New players, intermediate players, if you got a lot of these champions that aren't recruited on your roster yet, then yeah, you're going to have a solid chance of picking up something new. But that doesn't mean that every time you roll or do some pulls on here, you're going to walk away with something brand new. And for those who are veterans, you know, if you're going into this thing just looking at it as, you know what, I'm just going to go for Duke TP to save my training posters, and if I pick up a fuse, cool. If not, you know, the aesthetic thing isn't all that. There's plenty of star fragments floating around within the newly updated showdown shop. That's one of the best things to come from the latest updates and champions, the updated showdown shop. It literally has everything and anything you need to build up your roster properly. All you got to do is put in the work weekly for showdown, get your coins up, go and, you know, bum rush this doggone showdown tournaments that come and go, and you'll be good. You don't have to worry about it. So, realistically, inevitably, Four stars are truly inevitable. We're in a four star meta. So you're going to have multiple opportunities to get the resources needed and required to get a four star champion. So if you're looking for a trophy champion and perfect, then go for it. But also let that be your objective and then be done. So with the manager's pass, this is what I'm saying. Depending on where you are, depends on the value that it's going to bring to you. Again, if you're new, and you don't have any of those champions on that uh, that uh, that are in that loot on your roster, then go all in because you're probably going to walk away with something brand new. Doesn't mean you're going to pull a four star, but it's a possibility. If you are a veteran player and you're looking for fuses, or you're you're a collector and you just want to go in and get perfect, then once you get perfect. I would, I would cancel the subscription. A lot of people forget this. The same way with the King of Kings pass and the DX passes, okay? Once you purchase the subscription, you can go into your app store, cancel the subscription. That subscription is still going to play out for the set amount of days that you purchased it. And that's it. If you get what you need within that subscription, you're good. If you already purchased a six-month one, then cancel it. And make sure that it doesn't re-roll and you start over for another six months. Because more than likely, you might, keyword, might get what you need within that six months. And then you don't have no reason to pull on it. Unless, of course, you're trying to stack dupes. Because dupes are your friends, y'all. They count and kick off tough events. A lot of people forget that. And they do help with sparing resources. I always say it. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, your T-P-C-T, training posters, coins, and tokens. I can't say that enough. So, ultimately, is it worth it? Me personally, I have to say no. Because I know that since we're in the four-star meta, it's a thing. Oh, I got to pull a four-star. But ultimately, if you like a champion enough, if the champion gets enough work done for you, if you're following metas, if you're following tier lists, you're going to take up those champions, the four star one way or the other. Doesn't matter how long it takes you. Inevitably, you will get a four star. And I understand pulling for one does make things a whole lot easier. It really does. Saves you tokens that need to be utilized. But in the end, you're still going to have to cough up those coins. You're still going to have to cough up that TP. So ultimately... At the end of the day, when it's all said and done, Wesley, in my opinion, my beloved hashtag champions fam, it's an easy skip for me. It's not worth it because, again, 
the showdown shop has so much to offer that literally one day you could pop in, you'll see the five star silver token, the four star gold token, and 500 in color TP that you need all right there in one false swoop. Purchase all of them, boom, you're done. It's kind of one of those things like you can get to a four star one way or the other. Plus, with the prize wall, hopefully they deflate the prices after this MLC. But you know, you you know what I'm talking about. I'm just ra I'm just rambling and ranting now. Realistically, if you are already subscribed, cancel your subscription. See how it goes with these pulls. Remember, 2K coins, gold coins equals one pull. Okay, this isn't Silver League where 1K coins equals one pull. 2K per pull. So you're going to have to be stacking these up daily. Okay, daily to hopefully have a chance. And it's a possibility. Depending on who you are, depending on how the scope gods feel, you might walk away with a four star out of the gate. But those four stars might be far in between afterwards. But all in all, since we're in the era of the four star meta, getting a four star champion might take you some time. But at the end, even though it might take you some time, patience is a virtue. It's inevitable. You will end up getting a four star one way or the other. So I would say save your income. If you're already subscribed, cancel the subscription. Just see how it plays out and just, you know, review your overall experience with this because VIP is cool. I'm not knocking that, especially if you sp as you've spent enough where you can access Helmo right out of the gate, even with this broken brand new strapped up, uh, strapped up metal meta. But all in all, is it worth your time and your, and your money that you can't get back? I would say just skip out on it. So y'all let me know in the comments below. If you're subscribed to this, how has your luck been? If you were looking into this after watching this video, what are your thoughts? Are you going to invest? Or are you going to purchase this or have you purchased this because you are hunting a certain champion? You want a four-star Jimmy. You want a tough... Seth, you want a doink the clown. You're going after Mr. Perfect by any means necessary. Y'all let me know in the comments below. And again, Wesley Franklin, thank you for reaching out. Bad times don't last, but champions do. Mad love always. And until next time, peace.